Hey everybody, you know what this is? This is a Disney nut baseball card collector like me's. Well, one of my favorite things. Let's talk about it. Oh, and let's give you an update on my set. Hey everybody, Jeff Bates is my name. Dole Whip Dad is this channel. I am glad you are here. We're talking about stuff I love on my channel. I know, shocking. 1995, before some of you were even born, I was 25 years old. And it was Disneyland's 40th anniversary. 1955 it opened, 1995 it was 40 years old. I, at the time, was a 25 year old young man starting my career, two years into a career with the Boys and Girls Club, or three, or something like that. And living in San Diego, had always been a Disney fan, Disney nut. Disney attendee, whatever. Collecting baseball cards, just finished college. So, um, went through my life as a college kid making money mostly through the buying and then selling of baseball cards. Love baseball cards, love Disney, 1995 comes along. All kinds of 40th anniversary Disneyland merch comes out, including this. I love this. I so it's the 40 Years of Adventure Disneyland Collectors Disneyland series. Now, I didn't. I bought the um, boulder here many years later. What they did was they passed out one card a day for 41 days, actually, for 40 days, and culminating in, I assume, the 40th anniversary, which was actually card 41, way back when. And each card was a year. So in 19, the first card, card number one was 1995, or excuse me, 1955. And day number two is 1956, and day number three is 1957. And so each card commemorated a year and something that happened in the park. I actually remember there were spots that you could go. They give you a little um, slip that you could turn in in four or five different spaces or three or four whatever spaces. The place that I got mine was in the Davy Crockett stylized um, marketplace shop where you could buy the old Davy Crockett coonskin cap. Is that what it was called? I don't know if that's what it was called. And it was one of my favorite shops as a kid. It had all the silly pop guns and all the, the Davy Crockett stuff. It was very, very cool. Right across the street from where you could still shoot at the shooting gallery. And that's where they congregated. And they actually still congregate in that area sometimes trading pins. And it always reminds me of where they passed out the cards because after a while, people would pass out the cards and then they'd be there to trade. So again, every day was a different year and you got a different year. I got a whole bunch of cards from a few of the days we were there. One of the days we were there, that was the year of the Indiana Jones ride opening. And one of the days we went there, the Indiana Jones ride was about to open. It hadn't opened. It was like days away from opening. And I worked for the Boys and Girls Clubs and we took a bunch of kids to Disneyland. And unbeknownst to us, it was media day for Indiana Jones Day. We got to ride on Indiana Jones and the kids got to ride on Indiana Jones a couple of days, I think it was two days, wouldn't swear that, before the Indiana Jones ride opened up. And I've told the story before on my channel. The point being that day I had a whole bunch of cards because I drove the bus. And so when we got back to San Marcos, California on that bus, the club and more specifically the bus had a whole bunch of cards the kids didn't care about. And so I got them. And I don't remember what card it was, to be very, very honest. But one year I had one card in the set. One year I had a whole bunch of those cards. <laughs> I don't know what ever happened to them. Um, got a whole bunch of the Indiana Jones decart decoder cards, too, that they passed out. And some other paraphernalia, including some of the paper um, slips to get your card. Because some of the kids didn't get their card and they left them on the bus, too. Long story short, I became obsessed, not obsessed, but a collector of the 1995... 40th anniversary of Disneyland merch, including this card set. So I'm going to show you the set because, and I did a video on this, oh boy, it's been over a year, I bet, but because not that recently, I picked up on eBay one of the cards that I need, 1959. It's the Matterhorn, Matterhorn bobsleds. Isn't that a pretty card? 1959 Matterhorn bobsleds, Disneyland Park's first classic Thrill Ride is built to one 100th scale of the famous Swiss mountain 
located in Fantasyland. It's a daily reminder of the park to outdoor, <laughs> to outsiders, excuse me, being the only Disneyland landmark that can be seen from the nearby freeways. Anyway, does that make sense? So it's it's marked on the back. There's 90,000 of them, and they're individually numbered, so you know there's 90,000 sets out there. For years and years and years, I would go to what's now Club 33, above the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and they would have a set. They had two sets of these, actually. They had sets that were still in the package, so unopened sets, and then a set, a full set, and this beautiful album. And I don't know what they charged, but it was like $400 or something. I think the $400 for the unopened set and it might have been the same for this. I wouldn't swear to that. It was something that I knew as a 20 something, I couldn't afford. But I loved going up there. It had the art of Disney. Again, now it's Club 33. You can't go up there anymore unless you're Club 33. There's all this beautiful art. And then in the little gift store up there, they always had these and I always wanted one. Well, years later, here we are and they don't cost nearly as much, hallelujah. I picked up this on eBay, I don't remember how much. And I had a bunch of the cards and I bought some more cards. And so let's look at the set. So what do we need? So for, for page one, I have, I do not have the 1955 card. I have the 1956 card. I do not have the 1957 or the 1958 or the 1959 or the 1960. Unfortunately, those were the most, most viable ones because they're, they're now the rarest ones. But then people started to figure it out. Then I've got 60, 61, and 62. Pretty nice, right? Excuse me, 61, 62, and 63. I said that wrong. And one of my favorites in the whole set is the 1963, because it's the tiki-tiki-tiki-tiki room. And then I've got 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. And one of my favorites is here also. You can see 1969, the year I was born, and it's the Haunted Mansion, so that's pretty cool, right? So anyway, I have all of those, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 79, 70, 71, 72. The next page, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and 81, I have all of those also. You see Space Mountain, you see uh, the Abominable Snowman, it's really good stuff there. Oh, Big Thunder Mountain, 1979, I remember being there for the opening of that. And then the next page, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. I have all of those. Ooh, a little shiny. Pretty great, right? I just think they're awesome. I love the history of it. Uh, let's see, my favorite here probably be 1984. It's got Country Bear, 87 with Star Tours, 86 with Captain EO, 89 with Splash Mountain. I guess I love a lot of these now that I think about it. <laughs> so that's a great page. So I have all of those, and then again, I have 91, 92, 93, and then 94, and then I have a whole bunch of the 1995, which I believe is card number 41. And then you can see here, the um, I mentioned the decoder card for the Indiana Jones. I had a whole, I had like 50 of those that day. And then there's just some other cards. So, and then I have a bunch of doubles. Now, I will show you my doubles in case you care, because these are ones I'd be happy to trade for the one on ones I need. I've got a 62, a 68, a 70, a 71, a 77, a 79, an 80, an 81, an 82. Those are all doubles I have. And then I have a couple 85s, an 86, an 87, an 88, 89, and a whole bunch of 1990s. I mean, that could have been the day that I was there, actually, I wouldn't swear to it. And then I have a couple 91s, a 92, a couple 93s, and a 94, and an extra 95. So my point is, hey, you want one of these ones that I have <laughs> extra in exchange for, I need a 55, I need a 57, a 58, and a 59, and a 60. But here's the good news, picked up on eBay, a 1959. So taking it out of its trusty sleeve, and placing it in the appropriate slot, page one, has less mm, holes in it. So now I need 1955 still, which will go here someday. I have 56, I still need 1957, I still need 1958, I have 1959, and I need 1960. So I'm four away from the complete set 
from 1995, 40th anniversary, 40 years of adventure Disney card set. So I hope you enjoyed that. I love this set. I'm looking forward to completing the set. I collect some other sets. I collect some baseball card sets and some other things that I won't bore you with right now. But this is a big deal in my Disney collection. I've always wanted to complete it and I will. I'm what four away. If you've got one of the ones I'm looking for, feel free to contact me, we'll make a trade. It was fun buying this one. I'd rather make a trade for somebody with somebody that loves it and give them a card that they're looking for, but the odds are I'll probably have to buy them on eBay. Who knows? There's a 1955 for sale on eBay right now. Right now, I might just go buy it, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed my set. I love this set. That's my vlog for today. 40th anniversary, 40 years of adventure Disneyland set. Did you collect this set? Do you know of this set? Do you remember being there that year, 1955? I love that year. I just, I don't know, for this, for that reason, being there that day and collecting and having this set, I love the 40th anniversary stuff from Disneyland. It makes me happy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Go do something awesome for somebody. And if you got one of those cards I need, hit me up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.